If a tank holds 5,000 gallons of water, which drains from the bottom of the tank in 40 minutes, then Torricelli's law gives the volume V of water remaining in a tank after T minutes as V, which is equal to 5,000 times 1 minus 1 over 40 T squared, where T is in between 0 and 40 inclusive. What we want to do is we want to be able to find the rate at which water is draining from the tank after 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and 40 minutes. And at what time is the water flowing out the fastest and the slowest? Okay, so since this is Torricelli's law, we want to take, first write the function. So we know that the function that is given is V, which is equal to 5,000 times 1 minus 1 over 40 T squared. Okay, and then let's just write this as a function of time. So that means that this becomes V of T. And so what we're going to do now in step two is to find the derivative of this function. So to find the derivative of this function, we want to find V prime of T. Well, that becomes two times 5,000 times one minus one over 40 T. Okay, and that's to the first power. And then we got to take the derivative of what's inside, which is the derivative of this. So we got to multiply that. That becomes negative 140 over 40. So now if we multiply this all out, then we get V prime of T. So we get 2 times 5,000, which is 10,000 times negative 1 over 40 is going to give us negative 250 times 1 minus 1 over 40 t. So therefore, there is the derivative of our function. So now that we've determined what the derivative of our function is, now we're going to then now take a look at what is the rate at which the water is draining from the tank after the following minutes. So for the first one, for part A, okay, what happens when T is equal to five minutes? So we're gonna plug that into our function. So we have V prime of five, which is equal to negative 250 times one minus one over 40 times five. And so that is equal to negative 218.75 gallons per minute. And then in part B, we know that T is equal to 10 minutes. So we wanna find V prime of 10 so we get negative 250 times one minus one over 40 times 10. And so that gives us negative 187.5 gallons per minute. We take a look at C where T is equal to 20 minutes. So V prime of 20 going to equal negative 250 times 1 minus 1 over 40 times 20 and that gives us negative 125 gallons per minute and then in part D we're going to let T equal 40 minutes so V prime of 40 is equal to negative 250 times 1 minus 1 over 40 times 40. And so from there, we're going to get 0 gallons per minute. 
So the question is asking us, at what time is the water flowing out the fastest and the slowest? Well, we can see that it's fastest at the beginning and slowest at the end because here we can see it's going faster here at the beginning and slow at the end.